Hi Dyson, welcome to your second geography lesson of the week. Okay, so let me share my screen. I have an extra challenge for you today. Today we're going to be learning about Wales. Wales. Fantastic. And my extra challenge is every time I say the word Wales, can you jump up and do five star jumps as quickly as you can? I'll give you a few seconds each time. Every time I say Wales, then you need to sit back down and be listening with your magnet eyes as well. OK. So. This. Is. Wales. Well done. Um, and that is one of the countries in the United Kingdom, isn't it? Who can remember the other three countries in the United Kingdom? Can you tell me? England, Northern Ireland and Scotland. Fantastic. And do you see this picture here? This is the Welsh flag. OK, so just like um, St George's flag for England, the Welsh flag is this one here. OK, and there's a story behind this Welsh flag. So a long time ago, a king tried to build a castle on a hill. Every time he did, his castle kept falling down. A wizard called Merlin told the king that there was a lake inside the hill where two dragons lived. The dragons were destroying the castle. The king dug into the hill and found the lake. There was a white dragon and a red dragon and they started to fly. Eventually the white dragon, uh, they started to fight, sorry. Eventually, the white dragon ran away and the red dragon was left alone. And that is meant to be the story behind why there's a red dragon on the Welsh flag. OK. Now, can you pause the screen for me and point to which one of these flags is the Welsh flag? Which one of these? Maybe take a picture of yourself and send it to me on tapestry pointing at the Welsh flag. OK, the in Wales, star jumps quick. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. The Welsh national flower is the daffodil. People dress up like daffodils when they're supporting Welsh teams. Do you see these two ladies dressing up like daffodils? You might see some of these flowers out when you go on your daily exercise because they should be coming out pretty soon. There is a famous mountain in Wales. Star jumps, quick. There's a famous mountain in Wales called Mount Snowdon. And another famous place in Wales is called the Valleys. Oh, I said Wales again, quick. Well done. OK, sit back down, magnet eyes. Wales is known, oh, I said it again, quick. <laughs> is known for having lots of sheep. OK, the most popular sport in Wales, well done, is rugby. Have you ever seen a rugby match? Can you tell you, uh, talk to your partner, your adult, and tell them, have you ever seen a rugby match on the television maybe? Or you might have even been to one in person. A live rugby match, that would be exciting. If you have been to a live rugby match and you'd like to make a video telling me about about it and put it on tapestry, feel free. In Wales, five star gems, go. Well done. In Wales, people speak English and Welsh. 
the road signs are in both languages. So here you can see this is English and this is Welsh. OK, there are these things, they're pretty delicious, called Welsh cakes. And they are a type of cake that people in Wales eat as a snack. Oh, I said Wales again. Quick. Four, five. Well done. Cardiff is the capital city of it's the capital city of Wales and it is where the Welsh government meet and it is at the bottom of our red section here right at the bottom oh and I did say Wales didn't I five star jumps well done here are some of the landmarks in Cardiff Cardiff Castle the Millennium Centre and Cardiff University. Cardiff University is where adults, so, um, universities are where adults go to do, to do their learning, like you go to school. Okay, so today's activities. Can you make the Welsh flag? Um, so that's, that's one challenge you could do. If you wanted to, you could also make a sheep or a daffodil. And then the challenge for today's lesson is, can you write some quiz questions about whales? Whales. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, can you write some quiz questions about whales? So, um, that is it for today's lesson. Really fantastic job. Make sure you post all of your work on tapestry so I can see what you've made. Either make that flag, daffodil or a sheep and write some quiz questions about whales to test me and see if my knowledge is good about whales. OK, thank you, Dyson. I'll see you soon. Bye.